so we can go in and blend, 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 remove, remove, remove. And remember, I let the machine do the work for me, you guys. Absolutely no pressure when doing this step on the phalange. And have you guys had a chance to check, check out our stickers or to order them? They are incredible, and so is, of course, the new addition to the 123GO system, the Game Changer, which is DIY gel. A lot of people have been asking, especially on Instagram, we finished our Instagram video, and I was like, pay attention, children. They were like, what's the difference between um, press-on gel and DIY gel? And can you use them together? I'm like, yes, 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 yes. There we go, beautiful. So before we begin prepping, we always gotta start out by pushing back the cuticle. Make sure that phalange is nice and clean and there's no crusty molesties on there. And today we're gonna to do a full demo of the DIY gel and we're going to use press on gel as the base because it is essential. So essential to have a base on the nail and they work together in conjunction function. We're gonna go in first with the flame shape bit from the Russian Medica Go Bit set. Born to be a lap. I'm gonna start in the middle and go up and down the sides. Why? Also, you guys, if you live here in America, we do have a little flash sale, and in order for you to get the promo code, you have to check out my story. And the flash sale ends, I do believe, tomorrow, so check out my story here on either Instagram or here on Facebook, and you can get that little promo code for the flash, flash sale. And, and clean, clean, clean. Oh my gosh, they're so much fun to work with. Especially if you do them yourself because it's easier to apply the non-dominant hand. But you know that my bottom chick is press on gel in pink. Thank goodness for the pause button in our drill. Someone was telling me that I should have another class in Texas, that I should do a class in Dallas. What do you think, Claudia? Well, we just did one in Houston, but I don't know if there's a demand to have another one again in the Big D. They never called me back from the holiday. But if I have one in Dallas, I would never do it at a holiday. You have to do it at somewhere in Highland Park. Can I see you ship to the UK? Yes, we ship all over the world. And our condolences to the royal family. I know you sent them flowers already. Prince Philip, who was 99 years old. He was born in 1921. So I'm going in with the diamond moon bit, which is also available a la carte, or in the Russian manicure drill bit set to begin the prepping of the phalange. Two people died today, Prince Philip and DMX. What did DMX die of? Mm -mm. I think the Uh oh. You gotta plan it out, you gotta track it so that way. You can uh, keep an eye on it like an eagle, so that way he won't. Wow. Who, Prince Philip? Oh. Or um, DMX? Oh. I think DMX had a heart attack due to uh, narcotics more than likely than Prince Philip, but I'm not sure, so don't call me that one. <laughs> So we're going to go in with one coat of nail prep. Uh, 
That was funny. You're like, Prince Philip died of a heart attack from narcotic abuse substance. Oh, that's funny. Oh, can someone please post the website so I can pin it, please? And then a little bit of primer. on gel over the entire nail and that's going to be our base nice and thin over the entire phalange that's so funny oh, thank you oh it's pinned oh let me pin it again sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry. But from my understanding, I don't think Prince Philip was really a prince. I think he married into royalty. So then you get the title out of um, a courtesy, yeah, but you're not, you, to be royalty, you have to be born royal. Yeah, 30 seconds. And then we're going to be using oval today. And I already know her sizes. She is 11. Seven. Six, seven, two. Awesome, I hope you love it. Oh my gosh, the stickers are such a game changer. And if you guys have been following enocouture.com for a long time, if you're a ride or die, you know that we did have a sticker line a few years ago, many, many years ago. And we phased it out, and then we brought back our new sticker line, which is called Charm, and it has been killing the game. Oh, really? He was Greek? I'm not, see, that's why I'm not sure. Yes. So it didn't make him king. I guess you have to be born. Yeah, you have to be born into royalty to be king. Like her, she was born into royalty, that's why she can be queen. But different monarchies have different rules as well, too. What are the widest and the widest goes? Um, probably like oval. Not oval, I'm sorry. Uh, sport is pretty wide. Active Almond is pretty wide. Pipe is pretty wide. 5XL is pretty wide as well. So we're going to apply them with Dia Aguajo. Got my flashy ready, too. I'm going to squeeze out DIY gel. Remember, I like to leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area so that way it's easier to blend. And I'd like to freeze it too. Even though it stays in place, always better safe than sorry. Oh my god, you're gonna love them. They are the game changer. hot item and that will be in stock very soon along with new colors as well too we are expanding the flash gel line
You're gonna love it. It's so easy to use too, especially if you're going to be doing them on yourself. It's a breeze to do your non-dominant hands. And as you can see, it stays in place. You don't have to flash it. But you know, I, old, old habits are hard to die. Which primer? <laughs> yeah, I don't think she was using ours. So there's Miss DIY. Let's apply the thumb. Oh, that's why. Let's bake up for a minute. Same cure time, you guys. One minute. No, what happened? Oh. It must be something on her end. The best. The best in the game. The color or the... So yes, DIY gel is... It's not necessarily easier, but it's a different consistency. But the biggest difference is that DIY gel has a 14 day hold, press on gel has a 21 day hold. You gotta be a ride or die. You can't be a fake sand. So now we're gonna trim them down a little bit. You gotta be a, a ride or die. There we go, look at that. They just caught beautifully. We're gonna round them out, give you that oval realness. She has to have them just a little bit shorter, especially because she's been doing a lot of her own stunts lately in your last project. Who? Me? Todos los idiomas al mismo tiempo. Do you guys see how, how easy it is to customize these nails? It's so easy. This is Lucy Frank's kind of music. That's right. So the main reason I developed it was I did have a request to make a press on gel in the tube, but I also had a request, um, especially for people that uh, do their opposite hand or they do that themselves, 
this is a great way because if you apply the nail a little bit wonky or whatever, you can actually move it around until the nail is perfect and then um, cure. Um, Thursday. No, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night when we dropped her. Seamless. So Prince Philip was Greek? Really? Let's go in now with the golden ones. To begin the blending of the cuticle area. That's why it's so important to leave a little bit of trace of the cuticle area so that way we can go in and really blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Please reiterate your question, my dear, so that way it's easier for us to understand. that way we can properly answer it for you. No glue today. 100%. Oh my gosh, Cody, did I tell you? So one of the Lyft drivers when we were in Dallas, he said that I was not wearing a mask in the ride, which is a lie. Yeah. I mean, I was wearing it the whole time I was in the automobile. I think, I think he said that because I thought it was funny that he said that there was um, crazy people running around San Francisco. <laughs> like crazy people, because there's like a huge homeless population in San Francisco, and he said that like uh, the uh, streets of like downtown are basically like a psych ward, and I thought it was funny. I know. Did you take your off the no, I think he did that because he thought I thought it was funny. Aww. <laughs> I was like, well, go complain to crazy Nancy. Nancy Pelosi. We did. I wish we would have gone out more, but everybody was tired. Gesundheit. I wanted to go um, on the reunion tower to go see the city at night. I thought that would have been fun, but nobody wanted to go with me. Because, who would have taken my pictures? No. Especially if I was going to post them, you know, sometimes they have to take more than one. So now I'm using the diamond mani bit to go in and blend, blend, blend. The only thing that I thought was very uncanny was that there was absolutely no mountains or hills. So you, like, everything is flat. Oh, you're gonna love them. Hi, it's Miss Chani Lane. So we're going to use the diamond prep bit now. And this is a cool little way to like blend in even more. And also, blend in the skin more too. Like make sure everything is like super blender for both. Uh, as soon as they let me go back to New Zealand, I most definitely will. Love New Zealand. It's such a beautiful country. Good times out in Auckland.
Beautiful. So now we're going to work with the purple buffer. Is it the same size? We're going to remove the shine off the flange. So that way our base color will stick beautifully. And the base color we're using today is A pink number one, which is a semi sheer pink color. Very beautiful. What was that? Oh, maybe exit the video and go back in. Maybe she's glitching. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a gel, so it does need to be sealed. Yes, there is. It's the one, two, three, go kit. It has its own section, and the kit has everything, literally, including the dazzling darling lamp, because people wanted the kit to have everything. That was one of the biggest um, feedbacks that we have about our kits was they were like, we want a kit that has everything, including all the lamps, not just the flash lamp. So we did that. We made the kit that has everything. And then one person was like, oh, I don't like the kit that has a big lamp now. I was like, well, buy it on the cart. I will not buy things. I will not add them individually to my cart. Well, then you don't get any products in soup. Your loss. And you'll see one, two, three, go uh, available open stock. And then the kit has its own section. And then use the drop down menu to choose the kit you want. So this is a pink number one, which is this beautiful, like very lip gloss pink color. Who's that? Really? Oh, I think I remember who it is. It's one of our students from our class. They're like, have a class in San Antonio, and I was like, no, that's okay. Why? Because San Antonio is part of like, from what I I've heard, it's like Tucson, but with um a river walk, <laughs> but bigger. I think San Antonio has a pretty big population. Is the kit available in New Zealand now? Uh, you would have to contact Eno Couture New Zealand, but they do have Sea World in San Antonio. They have SeaWorld and Six Flags. It was closed. It was closed, which is very unfortunate for me. Let's break that 30 seconds. Who said that? Oh. John is like Max. Max, take it easy with all the new stuff, Max. Control yourself, child. We'll be dropping anything new. Not this week. And today is Friday. So not this week, we won't be dropping anything new. So I'm going to take our hand sanitizer, which I love to cleanse the gel nails with, on a Luxe brush wipe, and we're just gonna remove the tacky layer. So that way I can apply my stickers on top. Mm -hmm. 
and then something drops. Such a bad habit. You're gonna love it. So we're going to use, this is I think the black um, outline stars and heart shaped sticker set. And this one is black and silver mix because it's like a very mixed abstracty kind of design. So really fun. And the essential tools are of course our tweezers, our pink tweezers, because they give you that precision, and our pink scissors. So tweezers, scissors, and of course our silicone tool, and my favorite one is the one that's shaped like a lipstick so that we can really press it down. So remember, all of our little tricks, probably the most important one, or the most essential one, is to not place the sticker too close to the edge, so that way you can um, see all the edges really well. On this one, so that way they're not all exactly the same. And then press, press, press. This is why I love the silicone tool because I can go ham and make sure that no edges are lifted. What was that? What did I drop? The lid. I'll pick it up right now. another star on this one then? Let's do a little hole punch star for the cowboys. Hi Lena! How's it going? It's going. You look tired. All the powders are a pound on that order. Yeah, and I told um, them in the back already to start making the gallons. I just want to make sure I don't put the same ones on them. And there's Ignacio dancing, jiving. So take your scissors, make sure that there is no sticker on the edge. Trim, trim, trim. There we go. Really? little knickknacks, huh? They're super sharp, can you see? Because the last thing we want is a sticker to be in a place that it doesn't fit and then it peels off. This way you avoid that completely.
put a moon on the pinky. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. There you go. I was gonna say they're there. They're hiding. Very important to have those little scissors because they really help exhilarate the application so that way all the edges are nice and laid. Oh, they're probably as if I got the consignment. Let's add a little, a little open heart dot there, or oh no, let's add a triangle. These stickers are so thin, you guys, you can layer them super easily. Yeah, of course. Um, geez, I don't think you want to know the answer to that. An obscene amount. There you go. That's a good answer. That's why it's important to have the tweezers so you can pick up the tiny little accents, the little details. Go right there. Oh, where did she go? Well, she wasn't meant to be. <laughs> why is this black dot being so insubordinate? Big one on the thumb for the girls. So you guys can see how to apply the larger designs. Whoa. And then we're gonna check the edges, make sure that there is enough space around. That's why it's important to have good sharp scissors.
and really use your elbow grease and press everything down so that way you get a beautiful seamless application. Aren't they sick? Thank you. Let's add a little start of this one. I love it. And you know me, I love super heavy design nails. So you can go back in and add more and more and more. If I would have done that, I would have ripped the sticker in half. <laughs> you gotta be delicate as the Wicked Witch of the the Wicked Witch of the East would say. These things require a certain delicacy. Okay, that's good. So now we're going to do two coats of shiny. And the first one's gonna be super thin. And that's the one we're going to use to stick on our glitter. Always two coats of gel when applying the stickers on the phalanges. Why two coats? Because literally what it does is, is it acts almost like a magnifying glass. Like it encapsulates it and it seals it inside so that you get a really beautiful seal and you get a very like melted in design so that way the stickers don't look like stickers which is exactly what we want. That's why it's important to make sure we press all the air out and we leave a little, tiny little bit of edge around the sticker so that way it doesn't touch all the way to the edges. Yeah, I do. It's the oval nail. What are you talking about? But because you cut it and you... Yeah, I customize it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, she doesn't... You don't have the shape you're using. I'm like, what? Are we on the same video? Take my Sailor Magic Liner brush. And we're going to add some glitter. Yes, old school Talia. Oh, right here. That's why I love applying sequence one by one, our glitter, because it really snatches her up. And you get a very, very precise application. And an important little trick is always work on top of the rubber mat because that way there's a glitter that falls. You can pick her up and apply. 
Leave no glitter, no glitter left behind. How beautifully it dresses it up. <laughs> Gracias, que amable. Oh, your song, Claudia. Agua que cayó en el mar. In Miami. And just take your time and apply them wherever you feel necessary. Take a tanto. Yes, the one I want. Perfect. You ready to go out tonight? It is Friday. Do you guys have any plans tonight? Beautiful. Let's make this 30 seconds. Is anybody going out tonight, Friday night? Or who's going to stay in and snatch up their phalanges? And then we're going to seal with one coat of shiny on top. And this is going to shrink wrap everything and just make it snatched. Two. That's a long weekend job. They are fierce, aren't they? Wait till you see the stickers with the bad words coming out. That's in round two. <laughs> oh, my mom has this purse with Frida Kahlo on it. I think it's so ugly. What's so funny? Because she was ugly. Legit. I don't even like her paintings. I don't think they were pretty. I don't think she was a good painter. I think she's a little bit overrated. Nobody come for me for that. It's my personal opinion. <laughs> Nobody come for me. <laughs> We're going to be like, how dare you speak ill of Frida Kahlo. I already smashed mine with baby woman nails. They're Ooh. so cute. Gorgeous. Love your design. Pretty. Thank you. Okay, let's bake it. One minute. Uh oh. Picked up my little tweezer cap. It is important to have the tweezer cap. Do not lose it, children. So that way the tweezers stay nice and sharp for the blingification of the phalanges. Or even her husband, I don't like how he painted either. Diego Rivera. His work? There's a lot of other Mexican painters that... Yeah. Like Destroyer, I like Destroyer. Like the cartoon Virgin Marys. Those are really cute. That's how we snatch the phalanges. 
perdón, pero de tu amor me quema. Do you like this album from Polina? Nice, like to have the place you can go to go and like they have that in Tucson. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the Twiggy file. Just make sure that there's nothing stuck on the signs. Make sure everything is nice and snatched. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, love. Welcome to the snatchification of the philandrus. So cutie bootsy, but that's so 2020. Yeah, it's so old. Por encima, sí. Claro que sí. Adorbs. She is ready. And then we're gonna, oops, remove the dust. Little cuticle oil and she's ready to go. Do you guys love it? Is it giving you the realness, the fantasy? Let me get some hard light for the girls. Look how dope they are, you guys. And they are so melted into the nail. Like, you cannot see the edges of the sticker. So it doesn't look like a sticker, and that's the point. Mm -mm. So important to do two coats of shiny, though, on top, too. To have that best effect. And look at that, you guys. She is serving you. These nails are very Korean style, actually. She's serving you the K-pop realness with these phalanges. Sabrina, the teenage witch. Magic. One, two, three, go. Beautiful. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this.